Flail chest. In flail chest, three or more ribs are involved in segmental fractures. Flail chest could be a life-threatening condition. A segment of the rib cage breaks and becomes separated or detached from the chest wall. That really needs significant violent force to break these ribs this way. This area will sink with inspiration and expand with expiration, opposite of a normal chest wall mechanics. You have a segment that is separate, and that part works independently. It's like having a big nation and a small section of the nation separated and it works independently. If the big nation goes right, the separate piece goes left, and vice versa. So that flail chest moves in the opposite direction of the rest of the chest wall. So it goes in when the rest of the chest wall goes out, and that's why they call it paradoxical breathing. You may have a pulmonary contusion in addition to the flail chest part. You also may find chest wall deformity and decrepitus is noted either from the fracture or from the air. The trauma usually causes scapular fractures or clavicle fractures. So what are the symptoms of flail chest? This patient will have chest pain and shortness of breath and you'll have paradoxical motion of the flail segment. The constant movement of the ribs in this flail segment is really painful and the sharp edges of the ribs may puncture the lung and causes pneumothorax. How about the x-ray? It's hard to see if the fractures are not displaced. CT scan is usually better. The prognosis varies and it depends on the severity of the condition, but the death rate ranges between 10 to 25 percent. About 8 percent of patients admitted to hospital with fracture reps will have a flared chest. So what is the treatment? Observation, if there is no respiratory compromise and no flail chest segment. Follow the advanced life trauma support principles, which is airway, breathing, circulation. You got to give the patient pain control, usually with intercostal blocks. Don't give them a lot of things that depresses breathing. Give them positive pressure ventilation. You'll have chest tube if needed. Surgery may help in reducing the duration of the ventilatory support and helping the pulmonary function. This patient will need an aggressive pulmonary toilet and therapy. When do you do open reduction and internal fixation? When there is a severe pain and displaced reps? When there is a flared chest segment? Three or more consecutive reps with segmental injury? When the rep fractures are associated with failure to wean the patient from the ventilator? Or when there is an open rep fractures? Usually a plate and a screw system is used with an early range of motion of the shoulder. Thank you very much. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.